Well, the name Spider Savage personifies charisma, personality, spirit. He was really kind and generous. He was very colorful. Uh, he was a great athlete. Is stud an adjective? <laughs> I always say it would be impossible to exaggerate his attractiveness to the opposite sex. Uh, walking into a club with him, you immediately knew what it was like to be invisible. But I try to think mostly is that this was much more than uh, this playboy ski racer. Spider was a really accomplished racer. He was fifth in the Olympic slalom in 1968 in Grenoble. He was national downhill champion. Uh, he won World Cup races. He was two times world champion. We had started the uh, professional tour of, of skiing. After that first year, Spider joined the tour. And uh, lo and behold, he won, the, he won the tour, the whole season long tour. The Americans were not doing well on the pro circuit. And Spider really dominated for at least two years. We needed a colorful person, and Spider was really colorful. And uh, not only that, but he was good. All sports need a, a champion and an icon to kind of pull the rest of the team and the rest of the members and the rest of the sport along. And I think that's what Spider did. He really put ski racing along with, with Billy Kidd and Jimmy Hugo on the map. Spider was always a team player. But he was always on that background, seeing the, the nuances which would make it better for him, but also for all the rest of us, too. We'd go into these bars. All his com competitors would be there in most, in most of these cases. And he'd, he'd make a deal with the bartender. And the first one was a vodka tonic. And the next one was just pure tonic. <laughs> We drove down to Monte Carlo, and we went out and figured out where the racetrack went, the Grand Prix Formula One race. We had rented a little race car. We went out, and there was nobody on the streets. Spider drove the car around the course, and I timed him. And then I drove, and he timed me, and I beat him. So he drove again, and I timed him, and he beat me and we went around that racetrack. Finally, Spider had a slight miscalculation and slid sideways <laughs> against the curb and bent a wheel and a fender and just a slight miscalculation. Spider really loved the town of Aspen. He represented the town as a, as a community. He worked for the community. He worked for the ski area. And uh, he built his own house with his brother. He took a lot of what he absorbed in Boulder and took it to Aspen and gave Aspen some community that they did not have before. There, there never has been a, a ski racer who created the buzz around skiing that Spider created. He put the K2 on the map. Now it gave everybody credibility and it gave the U.S. product and tour credibility. I think the, the legacy of Spider is not just that he was a great ski racer, but that he was a great person. Clearly had Spider been with us today, he would have had a great history of coaching. He would have been involved in the Colorado Ski Museum. Uh, he would have stayed involved in skiing all of his life. Nobody ever lived life more fully than Spider Savage. Spider, on your induction into the Hall of Fame tonight, we just want you to know that all of us are here to carry on as you would have carried on. And your love for Colorado will persist for as long as the snow falls from the sky. What would Spider say tonight? Spider would say thank you to each of you for being here. He would be humble in his accolades. He would have a lot of humor, each and every one of you. He would have thanked you for the kids he got a coach, the fact that there is a Colorado Ski Museum. He'd be extremely honored this evening to be inducted into the Colorado Ski Hall of Fame.